Hey guys, it's Matt from GI Energy again. You may be wondering who this handsome fella to my right is here. Would you like to introduce yourself, Luke? Hello everyone, I'm Luke. Thanks for allowing me to come on today, Matt. We've got a substitute because Dan has uh, selfishly left us uh, to go on holiday a bit early for Christmas. Yeah. And um, he's obviously left us with uh, an important update to the battery scheme. So there's been a couple of changes this weekend, Luke. Yes, there has. Um, in, their, in their wisdom, the, um, the government have made an announcement where they've, um, they've changed the cheaper home battery scheme. Um, there's going to be some interesting changes to how it all works. And I think it'd be good if you give a bit of explanation towards that, Matt. Yeah, sure. So obviously the scheme has been running pretty hot <laughs> for mm. six or seven months now. So there's going to be an adjustment to the amount of STCs that each kilowatt hour of battery achieves. Um, and that's also going to be twofold where an initial reduction in value per STC, but also a taper yep. effect. So for a battery um, capacity larger than 14 kilowatt hours, there'll be a taper off to 60% of the full amount between the capacity between 14 and 28. Right. And then finally, 15% of the value above 28 kilowatt hours. So it's a bit of a tricky one. Um, and I guess to give a rough idea, if you were looking at a 40 kilowatt hour battery yep. that have been really, really popular and probably why some of these changes are being made because yep. it's eaten up a, a great deal of that subsidy that's been assigned. Yes. It's roughly just over six grand. Big difference. And that'll apply for any installation from the 1st of yep. May. Um, so what do you reckon is going to happen now, obviously, in these next couple of months? Well, what's going to happen is you're going to notice our, our installation queue is going to be full um, a lot quicker than what we anticipated anyway. We're already booking into March as we spoke before Friday, before the announcement happened. So I'd anticipate that we'll fill up um, for May. Well, if we don't finish bef before we finish on the 19th, it'll be early into the new year that we finish up our, our booking of our installations. What's also going to follow with this, unfortunately, is there's going to be a lot of um, a lot of those cheaper systems that you're seeing with the 50 kilowatt hour batteries, mm. they're going to be installed on a much grander scale, which is not necessarily a good thing. Yeah. I think, as I mentioned briefly before, there's a reason this is occurring and it's to ensure that more people get access to batteries overall yep. rather than a smaller pool of people with huge batteries that may never get, get yep. filled up. And I think that's sort of the message we've been trying to introduce over the past few months is size the inverter to the yep. battery capacity correctly. Yeah because a lot of those big 40 and 50 kilowatt hour batteries have been put on five kilowatt inverters. Which are never going to charge. Never going to charge. Yeah. They're, they're taking up, obviously, that subsidy. Yeah. They're just going to sit there idle for yeah. years and years yeah. to come. Whereas if you size it right and you do it right with, with the right installer, and there's great installers out there, yeah. but a lot of them are going to be really busy as well. Yeah. So this isn't to say rush your decision really quickly, find the right person first, yeah. take the time to have a conversation. And obviously, if it's something that you want to do, get it organized really isn't it just for just for our, our customers obviously we're doing a lot of sig energy systems what does that rebate difference make on a 48 kilowatt hour stack on a 48 yeah, <laughs> yeah. i was working Sorry, out before. Put you on the spot <laughs> i was working out before because uh, there's a guy here called tom that some of you may have the pleasure to speak to and um, he just asked me if i could work out every single increment for him <laughs> i said i'll do you the, the individual ones but i'm not of doing course. the random ones uh, but on a uh, on a 48 kilowatt hour it was just shy of nine grand yeah it's a big massive difference and if you're installing the battery greater than 50 kilowatt hours where you could originally claim that full portion, yeah. it's just over $9,300 as yeah. a difference from the 1st of May. Yeah. So if we can get you in before and the installer that you want to use can get you in, perfect. Yeah. You'll get that full amount. Following on from the 1st of May, for the rest of 2026, that SDC value will apply. Mm -hmm. And then they're now going to, going to introduce six monthly changes rather than annual changes. Yeah. So in early 2027, it will slide down again, and then again in July. Yep. We'll touch on that in a separate video. This is more importantly, obviously, just getting that initial information out. Um, so I think that pretty much closes out what, what I was going to talk about. You got anything to add there, Luke? I just think, from, look for the positives from it, although it's um, obviously changes that are happening, um, they're going to affect us all. I think they're good changes. They're going to make the, the program last. Yeah. Um, obviously, the, the funds were going to be taken away a lot quicker than what we anticipated. So because they've introduced this, they've given us enough time to allow for the changes, yep. which means it's not going to put the industry on its knees. Yep. And um, we can still deliver for our customers up until May so they can get that full rebate. Yep. And then we make the adjustments moving forward. And it just means that we've got a rebate here that will last until you know 2030 onwards. Yep. And um, yeah, something that's sustainable. So I think it's um, it's a positive. Bit of a bit of stability for the yep. industry, which is probably what we wanted. For sure. Because it can't, it can't carry on like this. Yeah. You've lost a bit of hair. <laughs> the hair hairline, yeah. <laughs> That's why it's not normally on the video, but yeah. <laughs> if um, yeah, if you want to reach out and have a chat to anyone or if you've got any comments, please put them in the video as normal. And um, thanks for watching. Thank Cheers, you. Guys. Thanks very much.